Hi everyone. Hi Team Nyquist. Nate and Mark doing a personal box of 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. It's a personal box. You're thinking, Joe, you guys don't do personal boxes. You you don't let you hate them. I don't hate them. We just don't do them. We like the we we we're a little more democratic. We like to see everyone get into group breaks. But Heritage is a special, so we said, why not? Why not? So, special event here at Jaspies. Get it while it's hot. There's an original 1969 card. Coming up after this is a random division break, Heritage Baseball. That finally filled up, so we'll be working on that. That's about an hour-long break. That'll bring us close to the end of the night. We'll be in the last 45 minutes to an hour of the broadcast. So, I don't know. We should start thinking about what we want to do to close out the night. We could uh, fill up another group break. We've got plenty of baseball, football, basketball, soccer, hockey on the site. Or we've got a few personal boxes left of Heritage. I mean, we may as well just go full bore on that Heritage, right? Go nuts on that. See, what's going to slow me down in that her that divisional break of Heritage is like sometimes the the, the, the packaging is a little thin. So if I'm not careful, or even if I am careful, the uh, the wrapper sometimes does this, and then I complain about it, and it takes me longer to do it. Now, I'm personally looking for nickname variations. I've decided that's going to be my thing for this run of 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. If you look on Twitter, at Jaspies Hobbyland, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Um, actually, by the time some of you see this, look under the moments area. There should be some more information on that. It's not up right now if you're watching live, but eventually it will be. We found two so far, Thor and Kutch. I'm looking for some of the other ones. So everybody wins. You buy some boxes or get into a divisional break. I pull you the hit. You get it. You get to, you get to keep it, sell it, whatever you want to do with it. And I get the personal satisfaction of of being able to uh, fill out my, my bingo card, if you will, <laughs> of the nickname variations. So hopefully I'll pull one for, for Mark and Nate. Some of those could, could could cover the cost of the box too. That's how that's how well some of these things have been selling. All right, good luck, guys. Here we go. The facsimile autograph. Now we're gonna breeze through this rather quickly, just in the interest of time. But I will try to spot as many variations as possible. Uh, if I notice them. Now, obviously, the, the nickname ones are a little more obvious to spot. Some of the other ones are a little bit more difficult, but CardboardConnection.com has, um, has a great variation list and ways to spot them using the code on the back of the card and everything, too. So um, it is definitely worth, definitely worth getting into and looking at the backs of each of these cards to make sure you don't miss some random variation. So even if I don't highlight one of these cards, whatever cards you get in any of these breaks, folks, be sure to look it up. Like that Chris Bryant, now see this is e easier to spot. That's an action variation. So you, you'll notice that all the other cards are just portrait shots, mostly. But this is obviously in the middle of a game. So that's a pretty nice one. And a lot of those variations, they're, they're not super common, so that's what makes them special. These are pretty cool, too, the chrome cards. 
out of 569, Robinson Cano. Obviously, any Otani's that we see, Shohei Otani is like the big, the big name in this. Obviously, any of his base cards, I mean, autographs, if we can find any, those will be huge. But any of the base cards that we see also sell for big dollars. And there's Chris Archer for the Rays, game used memorabilia. So there's either a relic or. An autograph so this is the the hit for the box not very many autographs per case so that's what makes the hitting an autograph really valuable too this is just a regular now the variation I was looking for on these some of these are marked 2000 or some of these are marked 1969 which is the set that their heritage is honoring this year and don't uh, don't scoff at the variations, folks. If you're not familiar with this product, you'd be you'd be shocked at how well some of these variations will do on a secondary market. So do your research. And give peace a chance. That's all we're saying. Justin Upton does not look like Shohei Otani. Close though, but not quite. Steve Pierce, the black border are one out of every fifty-two packs, is what we discovered. That's on the back of the uh, on the back of the wrappers. All right, and the last bit, and then the card. Otani, 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 not Otani. All right, but still, nice grouping of cards there, Team Nyquist. Let's see what we got here. We've got strikeout leaders for the National League. We've seen a few of these. Bob Gibson, Fergie Jenkins, Bill Singer. It's an original 1969 Topps baseball card. And the seal right there, too, indicating the 50th anniversary. Boom! There you go, guys. Thanks very much for grabbing that personal box. Thanks for your patience, Random Division folks. Random Division is going to be happening in just a few minutes. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye.